Imagine you're on vacation in Serbia. You're relaxing on the porch of a luxurious vacation house when you notice something flashing out of the corner of your eye. You look closer and there it is. What appears to be a strange blue ball of crackling energy slowly moving across the field. It might sound like the start of a science fiction story, but it's exactly what happened to one Roman Tregubov in July of 2016 when he became one of the only people in the world to get a personal look at the rarest of atmospheric phenomenon, the appearance of ball lightning. Ball lightning is an as of yet entirely unexplained natural event during which an orb of energy ranging from the size of a pea to as large as a human being appears. While the existence of ball lightning has been proven and is accepted by scientists everywhere, there is not a single individual who possesses the least bit of information about it. Instances of ball lightning are not only incredibly rare, but entirely unpredictable, meaning that there is absolutely no reliable way for scientists to gather any sort of information on the phenomenon. The hope of understanding ball lightning is further undermined by the many conflicting reports concerning their appearances. One thing is certain, ball lightning can hover through the air. However, there seems to be no consistency concerning its speed or its effects on the environment. Many have described it as a curiosity of pure light, able to travel through walls and other solid objects without impacting the world around it. Others have described ball lightning as being horribly destructive, melting and burning any substance it comes into contact with. Some have claimed the ball as a glowing orb of light, others as a ball of fire, and still others as a translucent glittering circle ball lightning has been reported to gradually dissipate, vanish with a pop, and to violently explode. The only thing we do know about ball lightning is that it is far more likely to appear during thunderstorms. For many years, ball lightning was regarded as a simple superstition, much like will-o'-wisps and pixies that make milk go bad. It wasn't until 1843 that electrical researcher William Snow Harris brought the topic to the scientific community that the concept was discussed. And it wasn't until the 1960s that it was taken seriously. Since then, dozens of theories have been made as to the creation and nature of ball lightning. Unfortunately, given the lack of data of any kind on the sort, there is no way to prove any of the theories right or wrong. Of course, many cultures have had different, less scientific explanations for the ball lightning. The ancient Mapuche culture of South America believed that such orbs were the servants of powerful sorcerers, created from the souls of small children. After being devastated by a thunderstorm and a ball of sulfurous fire in 1638, the phenomena was described by English churchmen as God's wrath. On the other side of the spectrum, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia described the fiery ball of lightning as a sign of God's mercy. After the orb appeared before him and his grandfather, only to leave through an open door after seeing the sign of the cross. According to historical records, the infamous Nikola Tesla found a way to produce his own balls of lightning at a size of 38 millimeters and showed them off during several of his demonstrations. Unfortunately, Mr. Tesla considered the balls a mere curiosity he discovered while trying to achieve his true purpose, remote transmission of power, and left no such records of how he created the artificial phenomena. Since then, many scientists have struggled to replicate his work. While some experiments have created phenomena that are visually similar to reports of ball lightning, there has been no true success. The last survey of the population on this topic of ball lightning found that a full 5% of the population claimed to have seen the rare event. Perhaps one day, a scientist will happen upon the event at just the right time, and some of the many curiosities behind this strange atmospheric event will be explained. 
Until that day, we have to continue to wait and hope that we might one day see this phenomenon for ourselves.